Hello and welcome to English Learning. In today's video, I'm going to explain the poem No Men Are Foreign in detail. So do not skip the video, otherwise you might not understand the poem. So yeah, without wasting much time, let's begin. No Men Are Foreign is written by James Kirkup. He was an English poet, translator and travel writer. He was born on 23rd April 1918 and he died on 10th May 2009. He wrote over 30 books including autobiographies, novels and plays. Let's read the first stanza and try to understand what the poet is trying to convey in this stanza. Remember, no men are strange, no countries foreign. Beneath all uniforms, a single body breathes like ours. The land our brothers walk upon is earth like this, in which we all shall lie. So, in this stanza, the poet is saying that no men are strange and no countries are foreign or different. Under the different uniforms, all human body or human beings are the same. We all might be living in a different country, but we human beings are not different from each other. We all walk on the same earth and after we die, we all are going to lie under the same earth. Coming to second stanza, they too aware of sun and air and water are fed by peaceful harvest, by war's long winter start. Their hands are ours and in their lines we read a labor not different from our own. Now in this second stanza, they refers to people living in different countries who like us enjoy the same sunlight, air and water. At the time of peace when there is no war going on, everyone enjoys a good meal but during the war they also suffer from scanty or less food just like us. All of us have same hands and we all do the same hard work to earn a livelihood. Coming to third stanza, remember they have eyes like ours that wake or sleep and strength that can be worn by love. In every land is common life that all can recognize and understand. Now, in this stanza, the poet says that the people of other countries have the same eyes we all have that wake and sleep. They also have the same strength, energy or you can say stamina that can be used to help their fellow beings, their friends by following the path of love. No matter where one lives, the thing is we all are common and similar on the grounds of humanity. If we recognize this, then we will understand that everywhere on the earth life is the same. Every person, every human beings are same. Coming to fourth stanza now, let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers, it is ourselves that we shall dispose, betray, condemn. Remember, we who take arms against each other. In this stanza, the poet is saying that whenever we are told to hate people of other countries and think them as our enemies, then we will be betraying humanity or we will be betraying ourselves. We will be cheating and condemning ourselves we should not pick weapons and fight against each other, but we should try to promote peace and try to live in harmony. In this stanza, the word brothers refers to people living in other countries with whom we should not fight and try to live peacefully. Coming to last stanza, it is the human earth that we defile. Our hells of fire and dust outrage the innocence of air that is everywhere our own. Remember, no men are foreign and no country strange. Now, in this stanza, the poet expresses his sadness on the fact that 
we human beings are destroying this beautiful earth by spreading hatred amongst each other we are destroying their innocence by war the poet compares war time with hell and says that because of war the earth is becoming polluted day by day and just like hell there is only fire and smoke everywhere on this beautiful earth we should not pollute the air with dust and smoke using weapons and fighting wars because we all breathe the same air at the end the poet is trying to say that we should not fight wars and think other people as our enemies or consider them as foreigners and their countries because different we all live on the same earth and at the end we all are same human being with this we have come to the end of the video if you like this poem and understood it as well then don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to english learning thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video